is heading in our direction. Here's a live look outside. The main difference between today versus yesterday is just the fact that we're a little warmer to start things off. 38 degrees right here in Music City. Yesterday we got up to 64 on the dot. Today I look for us to be in those upper 60s, but all in all, very similar situation. Lebanon, we're coming in at 37. Your roundabout is nice and dry, but that was not the case a few short days ago. So the past five days, that's 120 hours, we had quite a bit of rain, especially Franklin northward. Also, you could point out the I-40 corridor. We saw the heaviest, most steady activity. But believe it or not, even though we have been so saturated with that active pattern that brought the sleep, snow, ice, and then of course that heavy rain that produced some flooding over in portions of southern Kentucky, we still have some spots that are really dry. So just be mindful. Yes, the ground is mushy gushy right now, but we're actually still below where we should be in some areas. Nothing too extreme or exceptional, but we do have some dry and moderately dry places even extending across the plateau. The power five radars not picking up on any moisture this morning, and that's how things are going to stay as we go throughout the day. We've got clear skies with us, and that's going to really aid in warming us up. So obviously with a nice base level, that's a few degrees warmer than yesterday. It's not going to take too long. Right now we're coming in 38 in Bowling Green as well as Knoxville. You head into Huntsville at 37. Paducah, same ballpark, right at that 36 degree mark. Now the outlier, friends over in Cookville, Putnam County, you're coming in at 28, but there will be some warmth on the horizon. We just got to get that sun up because once it does ease in, even by 9 o'clock, I look for all of us to be in the 40s. As we go throughout the day, plenty of sunshine. It is going to be very easy to get sunburned. My cousin sat outside, had a salad yesterday. And y'all, her whole right side is burnt. Please put on the sunscreen. I know it may sound silly, but we don't have any clouds that are going to be with us. So there's nothing to filter that sun through. This is just straight good old fashioned vitamin D. Now tomorrow, that's going to be the exception to the rule. We've got a cold front that's going to move in, bring in just a few clouds pushing through, but it's basically so moisture starved. That's all you're going to see. We will be slightly cooler going into our Saturday and we're going to stay dry Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Our next chance of rain doesn't take shape until late Wednesday into Thursday. So we are going to be on a dry stretch for quite some time. Here's a look over the next seven days. Just as we had that sparkling sunshine all day, we're going to repeat that this afternoon. Temperature slightly warmer. We're going to top out at 67. Tomorrow morning, we're back in the mid 30s. By the afternoon, clouds will increase. Nothing too gray, but you're just going to be something to notice. By the afternoon, 58 winds will then shift out of our north. And because of that northly breeze, Temperatures for your Saturday a little cooler, a high of 55. But by Sunday, we're waking up right around freezing. By the afternoon, 60. Pure sunshine is back Monday, 64 degrees for our high. Few clouds are going to trickle in going into Tuesday. And then by Wednesday evening, it's going to be breezy out there. And we'll see our next chance for some rain moving in. But your Wednesday is looking dry. It's just going to be the overnight time frame where we'll see our next chance for some rain showers. Enjoy the slow pattern, Amy, because you know, it's Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. <laughs> Things will be changing before you know it. It usually happens like every 15 minutes.